Okay guys, so what I did with the eye zoom, since uh, I want uh, the battery to last as long as possible, I shut it off and then I have my thumbstick, USB LED thumbstick in there and I just kind of got it facing the wall just to give me some light. Um, fireplace is throwing some nice heat and uh, wood stove is just getting started. You can probably see a little bit going in there. I loaded it up with a ton of the wood pellets and a mix of some wood here and I got some standby. Um, yeah, there we go. Now it's catching. And I just got the fan lightly blowing through to help out. And so with the fireplace on, um, it doesn't really interfere with my video uh, watching which is cool it just gives a nice little background uh, ambient light in the back there too so that's not bad at all and oh in case of uh, in case I lose power here I'm gonna flip on those double A that little double A string light from the dollar store and that will be lead me to the bathroom area if I need it and there we go as a backup on backup so now this little guy is probably not going to make it through the night Primo's pack because I was using it over on the um, this fan over here so it's going to blow as much as it can for now and obviously I can't have this guy on because the battery is pretty much pooched it looks like 10 volts I've never seen it go that low hopefully well if that's the case guys I may, the, well, like I said, what I said back here, you can't see anything, but um, if that battery is pooched, I may put all four batteries onto just the blue one and go from there. And when the blue one fails, I will obviously pick up a bigger, more built for battery, built for it anyway, and go from there. So. Uh, I'm expecting my parents to call me because they're always worried about me, but uh, hey, we're getting there. And um, I had my, uh, my lunch smoothie there, and I'll probably have one tomorrow as well. And um, that'll be it, guys. So, um, not too bad. So, I'm going to watch, start watching some videos. I'll give you updates as we go. Um, <laughs> let me grab the light for a second and give you a quick update over here. It looks like I'm at 80% on the battery pack, which is not bad. And then I have two more extras down there to get me through the night. So I'm going to, I'm going to blow through, uh, even if I drain them to zero, I'm going to watch hopefully everything on that thumb drive. That way I'm not bored. So this is the ultimate off gridding guys. When the sun goes down, I bust out all those battery packs and it gets, it provides me f uh, power for my heating sources and also my entertainment uh, because I obviously can't run the 12 volt TV or if I could, it would severely damage the batteries and end up like that uh, older one back there that's at 10 volts. Um, this guy is slowly taking off. I don't know if you can see it. Very little, but it's it's going in there. It's just that glass is so dirty, it's ridiculous. But anyway, so pretty cool, guys. I'm gonna enjoy myself and get back to you later on. Oh, I should give you an update on the time, and it's still December the 22nd. Where is my cell phone? There it is. 8:38 p.m. Saturday, December 22nd. So there we go. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, um, it's only been a few minutes um, and we're up to 50.7 Fahrenheit inside and or 10.4 Celsius um, inside. Now I actually got the, I asked my dad, where's the flare camera because we want to try it out on the on the wood stove in the tiny house so um, I'm on I'm charging it off a battery pack right now 
and uh, it should be done fairly soon. And uh, I had to relight the wood stove because I guess I didn't ha add enough little alcohol uh, gel. But uh, now she's roaring and uh, we should have the heat spin in this guy fairly soon. And I may even open the door. Maybe not. Well, yeah, I might open the door to use the FLIR camera outside to see what the chimney looks like. Um, and all that fun stuff. So, I'm still watching videos. Um, see what percentage our uh, battery's at. Sorry, I can't really show you. Still at 80%. So it kind of found its happy place there. And that's quite a big screen, guys. That's like your average person's, uh, what, 47 inch size screen. You can always pull the thing back more to get it bigger, but that's a nice spot because that's where all my entertainment stuff is. So let's check it out. We got the wood stove, hard to see on there that it's rolling, there it is, so you can see some flicker. Uh, the only downer about this stove is the glass is almost impossible to keep clean. I don't know what the problem is with that, but that'd be my only complaint. And if they could also build a larger model, maybe double the size as the Grizzly, that'd be cool. Um, as long as it's still easy to ship and stuff like that. They want to make it compact and easy for shipping and stuff like that. But those are my only uh, little details on the Cubic Mini Grizzly. But uh, I'm going to start up the FLIR and see what happens here. See you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm going to turn the FLIR on and we're going to see What's going on? Um, check the wood stove out. Oh, that looks crazy. Okay. So you can see the heat coming off the wood stove. And I bet my little pipe up here is super hot. It's a double wall. It's actually not bad. Not bad just yet. You can see the heat reflecting off the back of the the stand for this thing. And you can kind of see inside inside there. Let's see how much that chimney pipe heats up to. That's pretty, it's fairly, fairly good, but we're not really cooking too hot yet. So, though it is. Um, let's try the propane fireplace. Maybe this will give me an indicator of what the blockage is. Right there seems super hot. But... Oh, I guess, no, it's just the way the camera was. So the pipe is fairly warm coming out and going to... Exiting, it's a little cooler because there's fresh air coming in all the time. But obviously, the 90s, the hottest part of this thing. Pretty neat, this FLIR camera. Let me move around just to see if I'm just seeing shadows here or something. That seems right at the seam, seems super hot. 2.30. What's the metal there? Whoops, I gotta turn the flare back. That's the downer about the flare. It self shuts off and it's really annoying. Okay, so we're looking at the propane stove still. And that piece of stainless that I took from the Cubic Mini because I really didn't need it is sitting across there and it's keeping the air coming out the front of this thing as opposed to anything else. I got my clay pot there. Uh, there's a little kettle, small little kettle there. If it shows up, there it goes. And another clay, clay thing there. So, that's pretty cool. Let's check on the fire. 
Okay, we still got uh, TV going. Yeah, the nice thing about the projector, it has autoplay, which it'll just continually, um, oh, here we go. The thing, the fan's starting to move. So let's see what it looks like on this through the camera here. Thermoelectric on the camera. That looks pretty neat. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's really cooking now. The stove's cooking, so I can probably move the fan over. Let's see what my flue or my pipe on top is looking like. Um, still fairly cool. Fairly cool there, so. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really concerned about it because I haven't had issues since I put it in, so. A lot of people are were concerned about the pipe going directly out, but not myself because it's a double wall pipe it holds the heat in there and shoots it outside um, so that's pretty cool guys um, cool stuff so I'll give you some more updates um, once this gets really cooking the flare shut off by itself um, I will go open the door outside and show the chimney just to see what that looks like. So we'll see you guys in a bit.